right, blessings everyone. It's me, Tess Whitehurst. And today I wanna to talk to you about how manifesting your desires can actually be really spiritual. So before I get into the details, let's settle in. So let's just counterbalance the sort of day-to-day -day energy of scrolling or getting things done. You might feel a little resistance to it at first. That's just that energy shifting, but just take a deep breath. Come into the present moment with where you are. Feel your weight on the earth. Okay, so, so you hear, we hear a lot about uh, manifesting. You might hear some construction outside, by the way. Um, just ignore it. Uh, we talk a lot about manifesting in New Age spirituality, in magical spirituality, and it can seem like it's materialistic or separate from the spiritual path. And I want to talk to you about the ways that we can approach it where it's actually synonymous with, totally in alignment with your soul's unfolding and your spiritual path coming into, which is coming into a greater sense of awe, a greater sense of sacredness, of inner peace, of um, feeling at home with yourself in your skin. So, um, so first I want to talk about how getting in alignment with your desire just like learning what it is. Where is that joy? Where is that expansion? That can be a way of getting to know yourself, getting to love yourself and accept yourself and approve of yourself and coming into that divine joy. So that process is like, oh, where does my heart feel expansive? What do I want to create? And it doesn't matter if it's a car or if it's a house, or if it's a certain amount of money, the idea that those things are would be separate from your soul's expansion. I mean, they could be. We can approach those things in a way where it has nothing to do with expressing yourself and feeling in alignment with divine flow. But we also, when we're getting in touch with our true desire, it isn't like that. This is something that feels exciting, that feels creative to bring into your life, that feels like it's going to nourish you. So yeah, we can look at it in a way that's materialistic, but we can also look at it in a way that is expansive and, and aligned with our divine expression. And then I want to talk about how once you get clear on the essence of what you want, then you make room for the divine to flow in. And that has to do with this really beautiful process of looking at, okay, what is it that I want to create or experience or, you know, magnetize? And it, but what exactly is it? Like it's, a, it's usually a feeling that you have. So when you tune into that feeling, then you can see, is it, does it need to be this specific thing? Does it need to be this exact job or this exact, you know, house? Or is it a house that gives me a similar feeling or a job? Like, and what are the qualities? Like, I definitely know I want this quality in the job or the house or the relationship. But does it have to be this specific thing? So just that process, because when you leave parts of it open to possibility, when you get clear on like, no, I really do want this thing, but then you also get clear on, oh, but these things could be like, there could be a lot of ways they sh could show up. That process is also a way of making room for divine possibility, for getting into the wisdom of uncertainty, of like, I don't know how it's going to look, but it is exciting. And then that's that also that co-creation, that interweaving of your personal energy and desires with divine energy and desires, which actually are not separate. But through that manifestation process, you get to know that they're not separate. All right, then also the manifestation process is about... Um, it's a way that we can, when we approach it in a certain way, it's a way that we can get into um, the enjoying the process for its own sake. It's that, like, it's all about the journey. 
it's really, I mean, do we want that actual thing? Do we want that actual job or relationship? Yeah, we do. We want that. We can claim that. We can say, yes, we want that. But we also, when there's an expansion there, when there's a joy, when there's an open-hearted feeling, there's also something that your soul, a way your soul wants to evolve. Like a way we want to move out of our comfort zone, something we want to learn, a way we want to get kind of more comfortable in the world or like bolder or um, or more, you know, creatively expressive or we're trusting like opening our hearts to relationships. The process is a huge piece of what we actually want to experience. So the spiritual path is about coming into the present moment, manifesting there is an end goal in mind, but when we approach it with the joy of every step, then it is also a way of coming into alignment with time and entering into the present moment. And then I also want to say sometimes we manifest what we want to create and then we realize, oh, I didn't really want that actually after all. But we wouldn't have known that until we manifested it and could see it. So that's important information too. And there could be many, many things we learn, people we meet, experiences we have along the way. And then we see, oh, yeah, that's actually... Like when I thought I wanted to be a movie star and then I was like, uh, yeah, I mean, I, not that I manifested that, <laughs> but I got far enough where I did some, you know, I did a movie, I did an independent film. I saw like, hmm, yeah, no, not this, but going toward it, taking steps toward it was so important. When I look back, there are so many people I wouldn't have met, experiences I wouldn't have had if I hadn't gone toward it. And so that's another example of honoring the process and enjoying the journey so it's about the end result sure but even more so it's about the journey and getting to know yourself and love yourself and approve of yourself and feeling comfortable with being present in the world so speaking of getting to know yourself and love yourself and approve of yourself i want to mention i have a new book coming out in september called the, uh, the Self-Love Superpower, The Magical Art of Approving of Yourself No Matter What. And I think you're going to love it. I feel really excited about it. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.